I typically don't use too many keyboard shortcuts in SOLIDWORKS, but recently I've added two that I've found to be incredibly helpful. Now the first of these is the measure tool. So within SOLIDWORKS you're going to use the measure tool quite frequently. Let's say you're in a sketch on this face or something and you don't want to create a construction geometry to get a dimension. You can very quickly measure it out. But to access the measure tool you're going to have to jump in the evaluate tab, go to measure or go to tools, evaluate and measure. But you can see if I highlight this, I have this M showing, which means I've assigned the key M to the measure tool. So now instead of having to jump in there, I just press M and my measure tool is right there. The other one that I noticed that I needed is hide all types. Now hide all types is in the view, hide show, and what it does is just hides all of the annotations, plane sketches, anything you can think of that's not the modeling geometry. So everything basically besides surfaces and solid bodies is going to be hidden if you turn on the hide all types. Now if I jump back in the view you can see every single time I did this I'd go into view, hide show, hide all types, then I'd go back in hide, which after a while gets to be quite annoying. So the other one I've added to speed that up quite a bit is just H. So you can see if I just toggle H, I can see those planes. I should be able to show the sketch, but I think sketches are hidden at the moment. And although these are the two most important shortcuts I wanted to show in this video, I also added two more that go along with the hide show types. So the other thing I found with hide show is that I was typically hiding and showing a lot of sketches and a lot of planes. So I decided to make those shortcuts as well. So if we right click on the command manager, we can customize our interface. And if you want to do keyboard, you just come over to keyboard shortcuts and then you can search out what you want. So I'll go ahead and search out the measure tool. And for this, you just click in the shortcut and you assign that letter. And you don't want to press anything else. In that case, I'd held shift, but you just want to press M in that case and then press OK. Now, if you already have a shortcut for something, then SOLIDWORKS is going to tell you that. It's going to give you an error that, or it's going to give you a warning that you're changing an existing shortcut. So once again, the other two shortcuts I added were showing sketches and showing planes. And before I show that, I'm going to just type out hide all types. You can see I've assigned H to that. And then if I jump out of this, for planes, I've assigned P, and for sketches, I've assigned Shift S, because in SOLIDWORKS you have the shortcuts bar, which is this S, which we don't want to get rid of. That's one of the most useful shortcuts, as it's going to make it a lot easier to grab the tools you need. And that one's usually the most useful within sketches, because it has the majority of the sketch tools within it. So if you already have a useful shortcut assigned to something, you typically don't want to change it. So once again, for sketches, if you search out sketch, you'll get quite a few options here. You want to make sure that you're looking at view. And in this case, you want to see the hide show. And in sketches, I went into this box and just held down shift and S and added that in. And I did the same for planes and added that P. And if you have any other tools that you use really frequently, if you find yourself using them all the time, having to browse them out and it takes a while to access them, it's a good idea to add a keyboard shortcut or some other shortcut. You can always add something to the shortcuts bar or the mouse gestures. But I've found specifically the hide show and the measure to be two of the most useful shortcuts that I've ever added within SOLIDWORKS.